Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dave and I am back with a new unboxing video for you today. Um, as many of you know, I am a ham radio operator. Um, KL4LS is my um, call sign. So I have a few ham radios. Uh, I started out with a Baofeng UV82, moved into the UV5R 5 watt. Um, everyone talked smack about the Baofeng and I actually had a gentleman buy me um, a, a, a Yaesu uh, FT65. Now, I've used the, the, the Yaesu, and to be honest with you, there are just some features that I really liked on the Baofeng that the Yaesu doesn't have. Um, the clarity on the Yaesu just doesn't seem to be there for me, so I'm not really not a huge fan of it. Um, I could put it down on, on zero squelch, and it, and it doesn't squelch. I don't know. Maybe I've got some issues with the radio. I'm not sure. But anyways, I was on um, Amazon um, yesterday and just did a search for the Baofeng UV5R again. So I started looking uh, and I'm like, you know what, I want, I want my Baofeng back. So with that being said, um, I went on there with the idea of purchasing a Baofeng. And so I found this radio that we're going to unbox today. All right. So... When you look at this radio, the first thing that we're going to see in the box, I'll show you everything that comes with, but this is a UV 5R and it's the 8 watt model, okay? Now, you can see down there on the bottom, right? UV 5R. Yep, UV 5R right down there on the bottom. However, it's not labeled Baofeng. Um, and at first I was kind of upset about that because I took a quick peek before I just started the video. Um, cause I was like, I, I thought for sure I ordered a Baofeng, but apparently, um, I didn't. So this is a, a Graval, G-R-E-A-V-A-L. And then I did some real quick research and in between, um, looking at this box initially and then, um, starting this video. And it seems that Graval is a spinoff of Baofeng possibly, maybe, um, due to the fact of, of some of the, um, important, uh, regulations that they were being hit with. Um, you can dig into that if you want to, and you probably already know about it, but I will tell you that on the backside of it, it does say Baofeng Electronics Company LTD. So it is definitely a Baofeng radio. Um, it is eight watts. So UV 5R, eight watts, 7.4 volts, frequency 136 through 174 and 400 through 520 megahertz. All right. And then it's got my serial number on there and, um, some other stuff, but looks just like the Baofeng UV5R because, well, it is the Baofeng UV5R. Um, it just isn't being called that. So in this, obviously, we get the radio itself. And then we get two, and this was another huge selling point for me on this, and the price was really good, like right around $50. Um, I get two 2100 milliamp batteries, all right? So there's that for you if you can read it. Yeah, it's all glowy. So anyways, um, two of those. So I got two batteries. So we've got the radio, two batteries. And I'm going to kick the camera down just a little bit, all right? You probably could kill us if you see uh, on the top of my head. <laughs> all right. So there we go. All right. So we got the radio. We have two batteries. There we go. We'll do like that. Um, obviously, we have our user's manual. All right. Um, Remember I said I spent right around $50 for this, so I'm pretty excited. I'm, I'm not gonna open this. This is the disc and the uh, programming cable, so it comes with that as well. And then I'll use Chirp to load it anyways. I love Chirp. Um, so, um, and, and an article that I read um, said that they had no problems loading this radio with the Baofeng settings in Chirp, um, because here again, it's a Baofeng. All right, so there's our programming cable and software. Um, this is just the um, standard earpiece mic um, that if you have the squelch turned up too high and you don't realize it, next thing you know your eardrums are blown. So um, I don't use those. <laughs> uh, here's the uh, clip. So it comes with a clip and um, the screws are already in the radio. So you'll just unscrew those and then put your clip on if you want to use the clip. All right. So radio clip. Got a bug. All right, a uh, little lanyard here. So we have a lanyard. Then we have your charging cradle. 
and power cable. So there's that. And then you have, see, and this, see, this is when I looked at when I looked at it on Amazon. I thought for sure I was buying a Balfang. I didn't read close enough. But anyway, so there's a Balfang um, hand mic, right? So we'll go ahead and get that out of there. I actually do like using the hand mics a lot, uh, especially in the car. And oh, another reason why I got this is so I I just um, bought the 2018 Camaro that you can also see on on my channel. And I don't really want to go putting an antenna on the car. That's just the honest truth. I don't want to scratch anything up. Uh, I don't want to drill any holes. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to mess my car up. So, um, yeah. So we're going to go with a handheld inside the car. And then I've got the other stuff here in the house. All right. So there's the mic. All right. Uh, you have a DC um, charging cable uh, for, the, for the car if you want to use that. And we have, and this was another thing I, I kind of liked about this too. Um, I don't know how the game will be on these, but um, so we have just your standard rubber ducky antenna that every one of them comes with. So we've got that. And then we have this little short, tiny, short stubby. There you go. See that there? Um, let's see. It's in, it's in Chinese. Um, but it says diamond antenna. Um, actually, I think there's something maybe I can read on the, uh, Sierra Romeo hotel 805 Sierra is the number on the antenna. So it says it's a diamond antenna. Um, it is both uh, two meter and 70 centimeter wide band receiving coverage is what it says on it. Um, so just for fun, that's the antenna that we're going to screw on here first. Does. And then, uh, so if this works, that would be really nice because that is really a small antenna. I mean, that just really shrinks down the size of this overall. But anyway, so normal ducky antenna, little short um, antenna here, and then another uh, whip style antenna that it came with, which is uh, here again, pretty nice to have. Let's see if this well, we can read on it. All right, so no names on it um i'll have some uh descriptions from uh the website what it says it is um but here again um, doesn't specify a name on this at all um, just a longer whip antenna that could come in handy um, for reception in certain areas might might get you out there just that little bit further so um so that's what comes in the box here again i spent like i said right around fifty dollars um so uh, I'm going to keep calling it a Balfang, uh, but it's the Graval, uh, manufactured by Balfang. Um, I'll cover up the serial number here, um, but uh, just uh, you can see there so that you can kind of tell what I'm talking about. So right there, the Balfang. There you go. All right, so we get the radio, uh, user manual, clip, lanyard, three antennas one two and three two batteries here again a huge point for me i i like that a lot um the dc car charger if you want to use that uh, here again another big thing the cable and the software which i won't use the software uh, i'll use chirp but uh, we'll have the cable um the uh ear mic which a lot of people like these uh, i'm not here again not a fan of it and then um the the charging cable and I don't think, I think you can only charge one at a time. Yeah, so you can only charge one battery at a time, but um, that's cool. All right, so uh, that will conclude our, give you some overshot here. That will conclude our unboxing video of the Baofeng or Graval UV5R 8 watt. All right, so if you have any questions, um, Gonna scrape my wall up here. <laughs> if you have any questions, let me know. Be happy to answer them for you. Uh, I'm gonna try this out in the car, get it charged up, um, load some stations into it, some repeater antennas uh, here in Central Texas, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, and then in, in a week or so, um, we'll do um, uh, kind of a, a review video of it. All right. So I know uh, not a lot of love for Baofeng. That's okay. Um, to each their own. 
Um, here again for me, uh, not a lot of love on the Yaesu F265 that FT65 that I have. So, um, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. Actually, I'm gonna pause you for one second. I'll be right back. All right, so I just want to do a, a real quick comparison. So this is the Yesu. I know this is an unboxing video, but I just wanted you to see size comparison wise. Um, Yesu versus the Baofeng uh, 65R and UV 5R, um, eight watts and five watts. Okay, um, so pretty close in size. Uh, the Baofeng may be just a little bit smaller, and however, the Baofeng will monitor two channels at once, whereas um, the Yesu is only one channel, but it will do a scan through all of them that you've got on there. So anyways, um, that's the two radios, uh, side by side. There we go. So there you go. Baofeng, Yesu. All right. All right. Uh, that's my video for today. I hope you guys have a blessed day. As always, thank you for your likes, your subscription, your comments. I greatly appreciate it. Doing everything that we can to get to a thousand subscribers. That's our goal. We have been trying to hit that for a while now. Um, we'll get there and you guys will help us. And I appreciate that. So any questions, let me know from Central Texas. God bless. When life keeps falling and wonder where He's right there to guide you, unseen you're not alone.